Don't just put your blinders on and act like if you don't see it, it doesn't happen. It still happens. So remember those things that you spare yourself the sight of. Think of those things and it'll help you, I think, be a better person in general because there are a lot of things in your busy life you just didn't take the time to think about, you know? That is a very powerful, very powerful thing. And, and a lot of people don't want to know the truth and they just, they don't look. Sometimes you gotta stop and look. I think the worst part is just realizing what humans can really do to an animal. You just can't figure out why people are abusing the dogs. I mean, the dogs are, they give unconditional love all the time and they just don't deserve it. We just had two dogs that came in, Bonnie and Clyde, and they were whipped with belts. Um, I don't understand what a human gets out of whipping, a, you know, a helpless animal with a belt. I don't, that's, that's the worst part of it, is just to realize that humans can really do things like that. Uh, you see other dogs who have been hit with a pipe or um, have been chained to trees or have been used for fighting and it, it just tears your heart out because those dogs are so special. Um, they're the most loving dogs. They don't have any aggression. Uh, the minute they see you, they just jump in your lap and they just, they just want to be loved. And so they're so forgiving. It's, it's pretty insane um, how forgiving they are. I think rescue dogs are more grateful when you adopt them because they know what it's like to maybe not be treated well. They know what it's like to be um, in a shelter or animal control. And it's almost like they just, I've gotten my second chance and, and they're just eternally grateful to you, you know? Knowing that someone hurt them, you know, watching some of the dogs come in and just thinking about the abuse that they have been through um, and then you want the best for them, but that doesn't always uh, work out in the end sometimes. And so unfortunately watching a dog uh, pass away while they're in our care, um, you just hope that we gave them enough um, love while they were here. Because it's not the dog's fault. The dog, you know, either wasn't in the right place, wasn't trained correctly. You know, um, I would say 99% of the time it's not the dog's fault, it's, it's the human factor. So, so it's sometimes that's why I like to hang around dogs more than people. <laughs> Except the people here. <laughs>
an old toy you can just throw in a toy box. You gotta freaking take care of them for their lifespan. So I don't think people stop and think about what you're getting into, you know? When you get it, it's, it's, that's it. I, I'm with you until the last day. So um, I think people need to consider more what a commitment having a dog is. And you can never rescue them all. Um, I, I can tell you, I know every day when it's five o'clock, I know who's being, which animal control is putting down dogs. I, I just know who, who, on what days euthanasia day. And there's nothing worse than not to adopt a dog and, and not be able to go save anybody. But I'll never forget a lot of faces, a lot of faces. It's just, and it makes me mad at people. No one, I don't believe here, is a fan of any type of breeder. I mean, there's no reason to. I mean, I, you see people all, all the time that say, oh, look at this poor dog, or the, this dog this, or look at this dog running on the streets, and that's the same person that goes out and spends $1,000 on a dog. And to me, it frustrates me, and it, it's ridiculous. And there's plenty of dogs to go around for everybody. You should always rescue over breeding. Uh, they don't realize that dogs are literally friendly, squishy little poodle kind of dogs are getting put down every single day to make room for more dogs that people bought from a breeder that they no longer want and then they're going um, you know they're going to a shelter i've i i don't think it's right um i think there's too many good dogs out there that need homes and i don't think people should bring more dogs into a world that's already overpopulated with dogs. Rescue for me uh, makes so much more sense. I mean, why kill dogs? Why put dogs down um, that are waiting for homes um, and, and buy a dog instead? You think that dog didn't choose to be there, you know? Um, and the only thing you can come back to is, you know, the human factor. and. And I think if more people saw what those kind of places are like and, and you know, have to see a dog go back to end its life, that people may be more conscientious about dog ownership and what it means when, when a dog loses its life. A lot of people, when they ask us, you know, do you really feel you're making a difference? The answer is yes. For each and every one we do take into our program, we're with them for life. And that means we don't give up. But the starfish story is about the little boy that's walking along the, the seashore. And there's thousands of starfish on the banks. And he keeps picking up one and throwing it back into the ocean. A gentleman walks up on him and says, do you really think you're making a difference? There's so many, you can't possibly get them all. And he picks one up and he throws it into the ocean and he says, I just made a difference to that one. And that's who hope is. We want to make a difference. No, we can't stop the world from everything that's happening. We can't save them all. Like I said, we're not, we're not trying to change the whole world. But for sure, every dog that comes into our rescue, we, their world has changed forever. The care and the, the love that's put into these dogs when you adopt, you're getting love <laughs> when you adopt from home. When they're here, they're taken care of. They're not out in the streets or they're not in animal control somewhere. They're here, they, you know, they live like kings and queens, basically. To see the dogs who come in that really need rehabilitation and just to see them become, you know, to the adoptable stage and be able to go home to a loving home, you know, especially some of them come from really bad places. You know, it's a rescue, but um, it's not, it's not like any other place that, that I know of, so. 
I would just love to see more people realize how you know rewarding of an experience it is to come out here just for a few hours, three or four hours at the max, and just spend some time with the dogs and get to meet a whole group of great people. I think it's one of the best rescues around. Um, our hearts are in it. Uh, everything they do is with the dogs in mind. Volunteer. If you can't volunteer, donate. If you can't donate, share. You know, um, just, there's a lot of things that people can do besides just specifically coming here on the weekends. Um, social media, you know, it's huge to help spread the word and let people know that we're here, what we offer, um, different events that we might have. And that just doesn't mean one person having to contribute, but it means a whole lot of people coming up with ideas, coming up with ways to help, you know. So it's, it's definitely, it's, it's a group of people coming together for a common cause, and that's what hope is. I won't finish it till the day I die, and then hopefully we'll find at that, by then we'll have a nice young person that has the same visions that Kim and I do, so that they can live in the house and they can continue to do what, what we started.